Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the Overwatch channel on YouTube. I just wanted to bring up an interesting concept. Now that everything's been so exposed in this election cycle in 2016, you can see all these people that have uh, essentially been, uh, their minds are broken. And I was just wondering, uh, what happens to a person's uh, spirit or soul when it is so drowned out by their ego and their brain? which has, uh, in some ways, been corrupted. So the, the uh, way I look at this is uh, <clears throat> we are conscious beings. We do not, our consciousness does not come from our brain. But our brain is like an interface and has its own functions and algorithms and cognitive uh, tools that it uses to uh, limit our perception and to even distort and create uh, people that have completely crazy ideas about stuff and, and reactions to things. So uh, there has been a steady effort by globalists to create mindless masses for their uh, agenda. Now, their agenda was uh, remarkably pushed back in this election cycle. It would have been, they were really close to getting everything they wanted. Uh, but you see these masses of people out there that are, <clears throat> they're doing, they have like opposite thinking. They they accuse uh, uh, other groups of being violent and then they go out and do the violence. They project everything about themselves onto everybody else. There There is no logic. There's, you can't reason with them. And um, their consciousness is uh, essentially drowned. Whatever soul or spirit they have is... Uh, obviously pushed out of the way and they are completely operating as if they were autonomous drones like programmed to behave a certain way and to get triggered by certain things uh, a lot of these people have taken a very very simple concepts that are observable and easy to understand about humanity and they've turned them into this complex nightmarish maze that you can't even follow along all the different rules and and crap. Um, so, uh, first of all, let me just say I'm going to link to these three uh, videos here below to kind of make my point. <clears throat> this is a very simplified 11-minute video, and it kind of describes some of the things that uh, goes on that makes people um, be manipulated into thinking certain things. And you have to understand that... Uh, in our current society, the globalists uh, have allies um, that seem to be perfectly willing to brainwash, propagandize, and manipulate people. And these allies can be found in the corrupt, the corrupted news media, the uh, uh, Hollywood entertainment elite, um, the education system, and uh, also in the uh, corrupted... A fraud environmental movement and with all these um, f f uh, factions going after people's minds it's amazing that uh, possibly a little over half of the population isn't fooled but the other 45% uh, or so or 48% are clearly fooled and in this election you had a woman running that was an actual criminal and uh, millions of people did vote for her now granted there's been reports that uh, possibly as many as 3 million votes for Clinton were fraud votes. Um, you can look that up, but um, there was a couple reports out yesterday about that. And um, that's huge, but still, even if you take off uh, um, millions of votes, there's still millions left. And these people... Uh, went out and voted for her and uh, the odd part about it is even if they even if they um, had some type of reason where they just simply could not make any kind of uh, choice for Trump uh, based on something you know some kind of logical reason even if they had that there were two other people in the running Gary Johnson and Jill Stein <clears throat> both of them Gary Johnson, not a libertarian, and Jill Stein certainly fit in the mold of the leftist ideology in America, uh, who uh, millions of these Democrats could have simply abandoned 
the party ID, the label, and at least have enough critical thinking that they could have voted for somebody else, but they didn't do that. And uh, that shows a serious level of mind control. These people are completely uh, broken, and it's easy to make fun of them, but is it... It shouldn't also we be looking at them as, uh, maybe not all of them, but many of them as victims of actual brainwashing. And um, is there anything that can be done about it? Now, I would submit that um, in order to honestly address this problem, we would have to address the true nature of consciousness. The true nature of consciousness being that it is not produced by the brain. And, uh, and in doing so, then we could look at you know, how the brain is programmed uh, through techniques of manipulation. And is there anything that we can do to deprogram people and, and, and uh, not tell them what to think or how to think, but tell them uh, or, or spark, uh, bring back a spark of critical thinking. Um, cause let's face it, <clears throat> let's face it folks. I mean, the news media isn't even news. It, it is totally exposed now as corrupt, fake news. You have to go to these alternative, uh, sources just to get a somewhat, somewhat of a correct picture of what's going on. And you have to use, uh, logic, reason, and critical thinking to, uh, you know, come up to the best possible conclusion. But to me, uh, this is a, a, an easy formula now for trying to get closer to the truth, especially when there's two opposing sides. You listen to what both sides have to say. You listen to their arguments. You listen to uh, what they claim to be true. And then you go and look at the data, evidence, history available, everything you can find, uh, the raw data, and then um, usually what ends up happening is you find out that both sides are wrong. Now, one side can be way more wrong than the other, but both sides will have errors. And then you, you can sort of like make a, a very cold, logical truth assessment. But um, most people seem to be uh, stuck on a side or they can't move. I mean, some of these people in this video, they're downright scary to... Uh, you. It's it, on one hand, it's it's funny. I mean, you can't help but laugh. But their minds are gone. And then you look at the Twitter feed of a Hollywood elite after the election. Um, their minds are gone too. Uh, it is amazing to me that these people can make uh, coherent plot lines in movies. <clears throat> excuse me, coherent plot lines. In movies where they, uh, where they um, have stories that people can relate to, they seem to uh, get what's going on. Uh, some movies have uh, great um, comparisons that you can make to real life in the fiction. I mentioned this before. Science fiction, comics are great for doing this. And yet... Um, there is, a, when you look at what they actually think, they're so disconnected from reality. Um, some of the things they say are just not true. Uh, other things um, don't even follow any kind of logical argument. Uh, it, and then you have to wonder, is there any way to just get critical thinking going again? Just like some kind of way to spark that in people? Or are they just permanently broken? And what happens to the soul, to the spirit, to the energy that we uh, have that is eternal? Our ego free or free of this human identity, uh, that being that we actually are once we're free of the body and brain. And uh, you can see happens in near-death experiences with people that suddenly gain great clarity for a short period of time when they're out of the body. Is there anything that we can do while people are in the body that we can help them start thinking again? I don't know the answer to this. It would require research. And, and the thing I see a lot of these counter sites do is they always do the same thing. They're always focused on using evidence, reason, logic. And, and, and we know. I mean, we now know for sure that evidence, reason, and logic 
do not work on people that are hyper emotionally charged brainwashed or in any other way manipulated into being anchored into some kind of belief that isn't true they they have these all these psychological uh, things that have been discovered the backfire effect the cognitive dissonance cognitive biases um, anchoring I mean there's all this stuff that once somebody is programmed they become like this uh, the winter soldier of these globalists you know they just do what they're told and how they're told to do it and they, they uh, almost you almost get like a robotic look from them a robotic response when they're out there or when you see these interviews of some of these people and it is just uh, um, I, don't, I don't know what to say I mean there's some really broken people in the world and uh you know, if if we can't um, at least take a, a look at what people are doing to try to reach out and adjust it so that it actually has a formula that works because you just keep doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result, it's not going to happen. So we need to uh, look at social engineering, look at... Uh, all these different points of manipulation, education, news, uh, environmental movement that has nothing to do with the environment anymore. And um, other factions and groups, the, edu- uh, the um, political elite class uh, and all the weird Orwellian stuff that they do to us, try to control us. And why, why are some people resistant to this? Why are some people... Uh, like me, for example, even as a child, when I was in, in grammar school, uh, I had wacko teachers that would, were, were trying to indoctrinate me into certain ways of thinking, and I somehow was aware of it, rejected it, and uh, um, countered it. Even as a small child, I was, I was uh, arguing with these people. Tell them, tell them what they said didn't make any sense. So why, why, was, uh, why are there people like me and some of uh, you out there, my subscribers who I know are critical thinkers, uh, why are we like that and why are some people not like that? And um, is that something that, you know, because it's almost like a 50-50 split and that's also bizarre. And if there is a one uh, thing, one um, interview on... The Trick by the Light, where uh, this guy had an NDE, and he uh, claims he met the Demiurge, and the Demiurge explained uh, to him that uh, it was a balancing game, you know, it was like during the interview, like he had to maintain this balance between the good, the evil, the light, the dark, and uh, the Demiurge was proud of how he uh, achieved that balance, it's interesting. You also have uh, other concepts like uh, that you get from near-death experiences about consciousness and our true nature of our reality, and is it uh, something that you know? To me, it also appears to be like a some kind of prison environment that we're trapped in. None of the uh, stuff that we're told uh, from these gurus of spirituality make uh, sense to me. Uh, they all try to paint this uh, benevolent, all-loving thing, and it really doesn't look that way to me, and uh, the evidence doesn't really support that. So, uh, you know, you know. also when you're looking at the data and evidence in between um, two opposing sides, uh, you have to be careful not to use, cynic- uh, be cynical or pseudo-skeptical about data. So... That's it for today. I just wanted to discuss that and maybe some of you out there, or maybe who knows, maybe there's a social engineering expert, a psychology experts out there that understand where I'm coming from and perhaps we could, people can get together in some kind of uh, group and uh, start conducting some type of research into uh, people that have been brainwashed on such a mass scale through such mass media and see if there's a way to deprogram people and get them to start reasoning and using logic again. Um, I'll check out the links below in the description section, and uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day or a good night.
whenever you happen to be watching this. See you guys next time. Bye.